What's up guys welcome to our channel eTechnis. In this video we will talk about Windows 10 startup problems. We will discuss 5 methods by which you can fix Windows 10 startup problem and I want you to watch the complete video before you opt for any of the 5 steps. So stay tuned and watch the complete video. Before going further, if you are new to this channel, then click on subscribe button and select all on the bell notification. Give a thumbs up if you like this video and leave your feedback in the comment section. Now, before we start talking about all the methods you have to use to fix your Windows 10 startup problem, I like to mention I tested all of the commands to fix the error because I generated that error on my PC first and then I tried all of the command which can help me to fix this issue. And one of the command which you will find on internet which is known as boot rack is not gonna help you instant it make your situation more worst. So I'm not gonna suggest you one of the method because that's the method which was in my list but when I tested all of the command I got error message and my PC stopped booting up. So I'm just gonna suggest you the four methods in this video. So let's get start talking about the methods you have to use to fix Windows 10 startup problem. Method 1. Startup Repair. Startup Repair is a recovery tool in the system recovery. It enables you to fix certain system issues that might prevent Windows 10 from booting successfully. This option is created to fix only specific problems such as missing or broken system files which cause a problem for windows to load up properly so startup repair can help you to repair all of those files so what you have to do first click on advanced repair option after that click on troubleshoot here click on advanced options once you'll be in advanced option click on startup repair as you can see it's asking me to wait all right, as you can see, it's asking me to select the account. I have eTechnis on this PC, so I'm selecting this account. If you have a password in your account, then type the password in here or either click on continue. It's gonna diagnose my PC. Windows can take anywhere from few seconds to several minutes to fix the issue. If the startup repair will not able to fix the problem then you can see it gonna show you it cannot fix the problem. On that case you have to opt for other methods. Let's click on advanced options. Method 2. Reg backup command. I want you to use this command because this is one of the advanced command by which you can backup all of your system files. Along with that, you can fix the problem on your PC. With the user of this command, it repairs your registry with a good configuration of registry you have on your PC. After you click on advanced option, you'll get this screen to choose an option. Click on troubleshoot. Here, click on advanced options. Select command prompt if you'll get the same screen to select the user account then select the user account and type the password in and you'll be on the screen here you have to type a command if you have your directory in c drive then you have to type c colon press enter dir stands for directory after typing dir press enter it says volume in drive C is system reserved. So it's talking about my main PC. So I cannot use that command for fix my main PC directory. So I'm gonna use the D drive. Let's check all the directory in D drive. Type D colon enter type DIR enter. All right, as you can see, it found all the directory in here. In the D drive. Now I have to type cd space backslash windows backslash system32 
all of my command was erased because uh, I was using the number lock which was off and uh, I hope you know that when numbers lock light is not showing or it's off that time it perform as an up and down key and uh, if I'll press 8 then it's gonna use the above command which is directory so now I turned on the number lock key I have to type in here cd space backslash windows backslash system32 backslash config and press enter now type md space backup press enter after this type the command copy space star dot star space backup if you have already created the backup with the name of backup then you have to type number one in here to create another backup otherwise you'll see an option to overwrite all of the directory after typing this command press enter if you have a lot of the directory on your pc then it's gonna take some time and um, it can take uh, several minutes as well to copy all of your directory after this type cd space reg back and press enter now type here dir press enter type the command copy space star dot star space dot dot press enter you will see an option to select yes no for all you have to type a the next command you have to type is a and after completing the command type here exit and enter after this try to run your windows 10 pc by clicking on continue I'm pretty sure your problem will solve. If not, then we can use the other commands to fix the problem. And I already suggested you in the beginning, if you'll find any command with the name of boot rack, then I do not suggest you to use that command. If the above method will not help you to solve your problem, move to the method three, system restore. If you are not able to restart your computer, then you can try this system restore to restore all of the settings of your computer to the back date. For that, click on advanced repair option. After that, click on troubleshoot, click on advanced options, click on system restore. After that, you'll get this screen, select your user account, type the password in and click continue. If you have any restore point on your PC, then you have to click on next and I'll show you how it looks like. And you have to select the recent restore point before you start facing this problem on your PC. Method four, reset this PC. If none of the method worked, then reset is the only option we have. By resetting our PC, we can reset our computer as like a new computer. Windows reset to its factory default stayed back to the same as a fresh new PC. All the manufacturer installed software and drivers came with the PC will be installed. So what do you have to do? Click on advanced repair. After that, click on troubleshoot. Click on reset this PC. Here you'll see two options. You can select the option as per your requirement. If you just bought this PC, and you start facing this problem then you can remove everything all of your personal files app and setting or if you have a data on this pc you can select keep my files remove apps and settings but keep your personal files like photos and videos i'm selecting keep my files it's showing me reset this pc getting things ready it can take 30 minutes to 52 minutes if you have a lot of data on your PC, we have helped a lot of users to reset their PC on chat. So it take around 30 to 52 minutes, sometime more than that. So it's depend on your PC, 
if you have lot of applications lot of data and all that thing on your pc then it's gonna take some time click on reset and it is start resetting this pc you'll see the numbers in here resetting this pc one percent two percent thirty percent as i already have google chrome and few other softwares on my pc all the setting which i did on my pc gonna be erased so i have to set up my pc again and as i select it keep my files so all the files which i have on my pc like photos and videos gonna remain on my pc so that's all for today do let us know in the comment section which method helped you to fix the problem thanks for watching have a nice day